that we know of have been accounted for. There's home at last. These individuals, they were victims of a conflict in Sudan in what was beginning to degenerate into a civil war in Sudan. The moment they are in the country. Alhamdulillah, it's feeling so good and feeling so safe. Sweet, sweet, sweet or lie. It was uh, tough and full of experience for me. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to say because it's hard for me. We feel good, we feel happy, we are back home safely. There was no electricity, no internet, no water, and sometimes no food. Literally, I, I saw like jet fighters releasing missiles, just like we were literally living in an action movie. You know, just how you see action movies, like guns everywhere. Uh, actually, the first day it started, um, I, I, I was actually asleep and I woke up to the sound of gunshots and uh, missiles and bombs and RPGs. Then came the moment they have all been waiting for. Anxiety, impatience, desire. These are just a few of the emotions, friends and families of the evacuees from Sudan. These emotions will turn into hugs and kisses. They just cannot wait to hug their friends, to hug their relatives who could have been casualties of a war just by virtue of their desire for higher education. Kisses and hands is all we see. Tears and emotions. I am happy for them. They are heroes. They have seen a lot. They have seen a lot and we pray for Allah for their lives. They are back safely. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Don't go there, see they just arrive safely. We don't have enough to say this. We thank God that they are all alive safely and we thank government, the effort that they make till they reach here. Uh, hello, hello, daddy, he has come. Latif has arrived. Yeah, he arrived safely. I'm happy. I'm so happy because the way things are happy over there, we thought we can't see him. I'm so excited. Before I even talking to you, you could see that I'm talking to my father when my phone went off. So I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. My father is he's even crying. Considering the experiences of war, the Foreign Affairs Ministry says these students will be offered some psychological support. We have put together a team of uh, clinical psychologists to meet them and do some initial assessment. Because sometimes when these things happen, you think you might be perfect. But you never know what happens tomorrow, the day after, or a week after, or a month after. Post-traumatic syndrome, we will never know. President of Ghanaian students in Sudan, Aziz, says it was tough. He was pleased with government's decision to offer some psychological support to the students. Organizing a mass students is not easy. But then initially we don't have money within us and also there is no any aeroplane that can come and evacuate us we spent almost a week and a week a week on road but right now people are traumatized so right now they need comfort they need someone to take care of them not today but uh, maybe everything will come to an end